<laughs> potatoes you can't eat them raw but everybody loves french fries and chips and all other good things that you can make with them the same is true for your data when it is in the raw format you cannot consume your data but when you process it and present it as beautiful insights everybody loves them that's what pivot tables can do for you let's go Introducing the awesome chocolate company. Here I've got their sales data. We have the salesperson, geography, which product they sell, how much amount and customers. And this data goes on for several rows. Now this is a classic example of a raw potato. It has the potential to turn it into beautiful, delicious potato chips, but we just need to work on it. So let's see how you can take this and turn it into a beautiful pivot table like that. Here I am showing the sales performance by salespersons, how much amount they have generated and the percentage of total sales. Let us see how you can create similar reports in this video. I'm going to show you seven sample reports. You can download the copy of this data set from the video description below. In order to create a pivot table from your data, just select all your data and go to insert and click on pivot table. This will show you from which range of cells your pivot table is being generated. Now here is a best practice tip. Instead of making pivot tables from raw cell ranges like this, try to convert your data into a table first. This will help you a lot when it comes to updating your pivot tables with new data in future. So let's go ahead and do that first. Select any cell in your data and click on insert table. This will instantly apply tabular formatting to your data. Give it a name. I'm going to name mine as sales. Now from here, I can click on summarize with pivot table to launch launch the pivot table dialog. Let's make our very first pivot table. By default, Excel wants to put these pivot tables into a new worksheet. When you go here for the very first time, it might look a bit confusing. The key to setting up a pivot table is understanding the pivot table fields area on the right hand side of the screen. You have four boxes, filters, columns, rows and values. Let's create a very simple pivot table that shows the total sales by salesperson. So I take the salesperson and then I can put that into the row area. For each salesperson in my original data, I will see one row here. I can then take the amount and drag and drop it into the values area. Alternatively, you can right click on the field in the field list, say add to values. Depending on the type of field that you're putting, pivot table will automatically either sum or count those things. Because amount is a number column, it is going to sum it up by default. Here I can now immediately see which salesperson has generated how much amount. Let's quickly do some formatting on this so that it looks better. First up, we are going to turn all of this into currency formatting. You can right click on any of these numbers and go to number format. And from here, select the formatting that you want to apply. You can also change the color scheme of the pivot table very easily. Just go to the design ribbon and choose the color scheme that you like. Because these are chocolate sales, I'm going to go with this chocolate color. You can also enable banded rows so that every other row is color coded differently. And this makes the whole process of reading the report very simple. For our second sample report, let us create a pivot table that shows the total sales by salesperson and geography. Insert a new pivot table from your original data and now add salesperson to row, add geography again to the row area. Now, When you do this, it will create a two level pivot table. For each salesperson, it will list all the geographies underneath and then I can go and add amounts to see the amount of sales generated by geography. These kind of pivot tables are called multi-level or two-level pivot tables. And when you have multiple levels, you have the choice of changing the layout of this pivot. So you could view this like this or like that. To change it to a matrix layout like this, all you have to do is take the geography from here and drop it into there. Let's see the whole thing again. I take my geography, drop it and instantly my pivot table looks like this. For our third pivot table, let us create total sales report by salesperson, but only for a specific geography. This is when we will use the filters option of the pivot table. So we will list all the salesperson and the amount, add geography to the filter area. This will now give you a filtering option on the geography on top of the pivot table. Here I can go and select any pivot table any geography that I want. Let's pick New Zealand and I can see the total sales for only New Zealand. Let us create top 
10 product style report so you can take the product add it here take the customers and add it there this will show you total number of customers for each product now here i'm seeing all the products so how do i get to the top 10 this is very simple click on the top drop down there go to value filter and select top 10 specify the top 10 that you want so you say top 10 items by sum of customers and when you click ok you will see the top 10 products now by default they will be listed in the alphabetical order you can also apply a sorting on top of this the right click on the number column and then say sort largest to smallest needless to say if you were to add a salesperson filter on top of this top 10 report you can then see the top 10 products for a specific salesperson if i pick gigi i'm seeing that spicy special slims are her top one product and 99 percent dark and pure is her top 10 product now let's talk about one of the most interesting aspects of pivot tables this is what i mean by that i can click on Australia and I'm seeing the total sales in Australia by salesperson. I can go to New Zealand, India or USA. So how do you create such an interactive pivot table? Let's start from scratch. In a new pivot table, just add salesperson and amount. Now this shows the total amount per salesperson. Now right click on the geography and add it as a slicer. This is the interactive bit. A slicer is like a visual filter. It's a floating box that I can move. It will let you click on an item on the slicer. So for example, India, and then it will instantly filter the values on the pivot table. Slicers are very powerful and they allow you to add insane amount of interactivity and fun factor into your pivot tables. You can do a little bit of formatting on the pivot so that everything looks pretty. So there is our interactive pivot report. For our report number six, let us see how you can create a chart that is like a pivot table. These are called pivot charts. Let's go ahead and make one. Go to your data and then from insert ribbon, instead of using pivot table, click on pivot chart. Excel will bring us to this special page where you have both pivot table and pivot charts set up for us. So let's see geography and amounts. You can do all of your formatting and coloring of these chart just as regular charts. You can even take these pivot charts and make them interactive. Let me show you how to make such an interactive pivot chart that shows our top five salespeople by geography. Let's add salesperson and amount and let's add geography as a slicer. Now we go to the pivot table, click on value filters, top 10, and then just say, I want only the top five salespeople. These are my five people. Let's apply a sort order on this. I have an interactive pivot chart. I can see who are our top five people in Australia, UK, or Canada. Now here is a fun little tip. You don't have to keep all of these things in one page. You can construct what you need and then just move the chart and the slicer to an output sheet so that it looks like a nice presentation. Let's do that. So here is our output sheet that shows total sales by the top five salesperson in Canada. And I can go into New Zealand, UK. Now let's go back to the original pivot table that I have shown you that shows the total amounts and the percentages. How do you make something like this? Insert a pivot table, add salesperson, amount, and then apply some formatting. Now go ahead and add the amount again. Right click on the second amount column, show value as and select percentage of column total. This will represent that number as a percentage of the total. Go to home, conditional formatting and add a data bar. Excel will show you this little box. From here, select the last option. Do some quick adjustment on this data bar from manage rules. Editing the rule and let's set it to the dark chocolate color. Set the maximum to maybe, because everybody is in 10 to 12% we'll put it at 0.25 and apply so we'll get this nice little bar graph that is attached to the pivot table let's say you built some awesome pivot reports using this video now suddenly you got some new data here i got some extra sales information from the month of april 2021 now how do i add this data and update all my pivot tables either copy or load the new data at the end of your table so once you have done that go to the data and click on refresh all that will update all your pivot tables. Make a note of these numbers and let's see what happens after refresh. Instantly all the numbers change. Every pivot table, not just this one, would have the new data added there. Now that you have learned pivot tables, you may want to go to the next level. Here I've got a complete playlist of advanced pivot table tricks and tips. Please check it out to learn some extremely cool and advanced concepts on pivot tables.
That is all for now. I will go brush my teeth to get off that awful raw potato taste. See you.